Established in 1929, Pierre Amadou remains a family-owned vineyard in the Southern Rhone Valley. The winery is known for its gigandas and is now managed by Claude Amadou. However, it is the founder's grandson, Pierre Amadou Jr., at the helm when it comes to winemaking. His name is eminent amongst winemakers in the Rhone Valley. Henri Claude will introduce you to Pierre Amadou's terroir and the signature wine it produces. Hello, I am Henri Claude Amadou. Welcome at Pierre Amadou Estate. We are here in Gigondas, Southern Rhone Valley. Um, my granddad, Pierre Amadou, started the business in 1929 when he decided to establish in Gigondas. He was the first guy to bottle his wine in order to sell it, actually. And we are here on these mountain vineyards, uh, basically planted in Grenache and Syrah, a tiny little bit of Mourvedre. My granddad, Pierre, uh, decided to plant this vineyard first in the 50s. He planted 100 acres and then uh, when his son, my dad, Claude, joined him late 70s, they planted 200 more acres. Nowadays, the vineyard is 300 acres. We are uh, in this beautiful uh, place of Dantel de Montmirail, this mountain chain, on limestone and clay soils, which will provide the wine some nice freshness, spicy notes, and very earthy uh, features. I would like to introduce you to this, uh, this wine um, out of this part of the estate. We are here in Grand Roman. The wine we make here in Grand Roman is Grenache based 60%, then a tiny bit of Syrah 15, but the secret sauce of this wine is 20 to 25% of Old Mourvedre. This Mourvedre were the first planted by my granddad. These vines behind me, okay, they were planted in 1954. They will develop some very nice perfumes and very floral notes thanks to this old Mourvedre. Here on the estate, as you can see, on this mountain, we have some very hard growing conditions on limestone and clay soils, very poor soils. The vine has to express its best. Then the climate is very changing, as today is a good example. We have a lot of wind, this mistral blowing very hard and consistently during days and days. It just cleans the vineyard. It's our best, it's our secret weapon, I would say. It will clean the vineyard out of the pests, of the disease. And so we don't need any pesticide, any chemicals in the vineyard. It's done naturally. We are just blessed to have these conditions. It needs, of course, a lot of time, passion, energy to grow in here. But then the best gift we can have, it's in your glass.